and Bahrain have never won a medal in this event, and they have quite some lineup here. They'll start in lane two. NASA going anchor leg for them, who apparently is down to run in the Diamond League in Brussels tomorrow night. How on earth she's going to pull that off, I'm not sure, other than a private jet. A big roar from the crowd, cheering on the Indonesians out in lane six. A good start there by Jamal of Bahrain, and now Hima Das beginning to close in on the Indonesian outsider. Also running well, the lead leg from Vietnam, Thiwan Nguyen. Bahrain really do have such a strong team. Nguyen is running well. But remember, there's a very, very long stagger. It's a brutal leg, and she's now starting to tie up as Das shows her class for India. Also, Jamal of Bahrain beginning to tire just a fraction. India lead, we did expect that. Bahrain in second, a little bit of a sloppy change over there from Jamal to Essa, who you expect will close this gap. That was truly dreadful, Rob. They almost passed the baton at a standstill. I'm sure that, that in the long term they won't have too much impact, but certainly they've lost four or five metres. That was a very, very poor exchange. Looking up at the big screen, this is Machetri of India. They've been bold, the Indians, by selecting Das on that lead leg. Essa now trying to close, but she's got some company. The other Nguyen has run really well for Vietnam. China trying to come back into the mix. But at the halfway stage, it will be India. Gutsy end to that leg by Japan, who are just ahead of Bahrain. And China still in the mix for a medal. But now we get to watch Odeon storming around that first bend. Well, we know that Odeon is the fastest woman on the continent. What we don't know, though, is having gone off as she has done, look at her there, looking quite majestic in second spot. How is she when she's gone beyond 200 metres? She's certainly running within herself here, but she would look to kick once she hits that top bend, which she does now. This is going to be very informative, but at the moment, that's a big lead. That's 25 metres. The Indians put their best athlete out lead leg. It will be left to Valuva Koroth to anchor them home. She has a huge lead. This is the size of the task facing Salwa Nasa. India with a lead of some, what, 30, maybe 40 metres. Nasa is so fast. She's running in lane two. She needs to cut in. She's covering more distance than she needs to here, and she's still in lane two. Surely she must realise you can break. Now she moves across. She is one of the fastest women in history, over 400 metres, but this lead looks too big for even her to close down. India's bold strategy of putting Hima Das on lead leg has paid off brilliantly. They've won the last four, and in some style, they are going to make it five Asian Games title in a row in the women's 4x4. India take it. NASA can't bring them gold this time. And what a fantastic bronze medal for Vietnam, I think, who came through ahead of the fast-finishing Chinese. India deliver again, and despite having a brilliant quartet on paper, the Bahrainis left themselves far too much to do. It does go to show that there is far more, even in a 4 by 400 meter race, than just simply having four fast athletes. But that was a procession, wasn't it? Well, that has certainly come as something of a surprise. The end of the first leg for Bahrain between Jamal and the start of the second with Essa was very sloppy. That was a, they lost ground there when Das had already given India a sizeable advantage.
The Indians defend their title as a result of some very brave tactics. Their best runner out first, and they were never threatened. Bahrain, with all the superstars, take the silver and a wonderful bronze for Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, gold medal and Asian Games champion, representing India. Well, it was that leg from Hima Das which clinched it, timed at 52.13, which is rather quick for the first leg in a women's 4 by 4 It does have the reputation for being the longest and the slowest leg. I place both of those words in inverted commas because they're not literally the slowest or the longest, but when you look at the split times because of the start from a stationary position and the fact it's a three men stagger for the start of the women's four by four, always those split times are relatively modest. But 52.13 for the first leg in a women's four by four is very sprightly. And that set up the victory here for the Indian women.